All righty, let's see. Getting back here to uh, George, you were talking about uh, you'd called a while back with this guy in the car in your community who just sat there glaring at people to remind them that they're all being watched, right? That is true. And the update is? Oh, you were going to get the update. You were going to check into it. Oh, I well, I called over and basically uh, just found that, yeah, TSA does have a presence here on the island, and, yes, they've got a car that drives around. Uh, but other than that, they just told me to mind my own business or otherwise the terrorists are going to win. Wow. And, well, I mean, I'm, I'm well, paraphrasing loosely here, but, I mean, basically the whole idea is that uh, if you look at the comments I made about that uh, uh, British surveillance story and this obit episode from uh, Outer Limits, this is all designed to destroy our social cohesion, to make us easier to rule. And whether it's the scanners at the airport or TSA grabbing your crotches at sporting events or guys in the cars just sitting there glaring at you, it's part of psychological warfare declared on the people of the United States of America to turn us back into paranoid, frightened, terrified little individuals who don't know who we can trust to talk to. And that's all it is. It's a theater piece. No, Mike, I'm, I'm terrified, I must admit. No, 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 don't do that. If you, if you allow yourself to be afraid, they have won. The correct response is anger. You should be anger. And I'll tell you what you do. You get yourself a potato, and you shove it in that exhaust pipe of that car, and he won't be able to start the engine, and he won't know what's going on unless he checks the exhaust pipe. You'll think his engine has died. And you haven't really damaged the car, but it will be annoying as all get out to him. 